Alright guys, we are back again for yet another Bleach Brave Souls video. Shoutouts to Heekin like always because we pretty much always get from him the most data mined info and for those of you guys wanting to know how to get into the server, I recommend DMing either Soldex or Heekin because I do not have access to the link. I've been getting that multiple times and it's like, I'm not the guy to ask Chief, I'm not the guy to ask. We have ourselves a lot of stuff coming into the game. So for starters, we're getting a Lunar New Year's pack, which is interesting. We don't know what's in the actual ticket packs for those of you guys that are wanting to whale. Well. So we'll have to wait until they're officially out in the game. And either way, mid month could be that, maybe? I don't know, it's hinting towards that. So uh, yeah, there's that. The Fierce Battle characters are going to be getting their character packs, so if you guys still do not have them, this is going to be your chance to pick them up, although it's going to be a bit expensive. It's going to be around 20 plus US dollars, so there's that. And uh, yeah, what else? Uh, we're going to be getting a Brave Selection Banner, which is already been data mined into the game. It's Ulkiora, Aizen, and uh, Shinji. I do not recommend any of you guys summon on it and hold on i'm gonna pull up the game right now because i also have the actual banner so hold on yeah the other two fillers are christmas ringiku and death of society yuruichi yes yeah, get that banner do not summon it's not worth it like <laughs> even though i have this damn segunda top of oki r45 i'm not gonna go for the 55 i don't think it's worth it for gil quest he does the job just fine he's not limited he's a premium character you can pull him from thickets and matter of fact i'm stacking up bbs tickets as we speak so hopefully i can get to a certain good number and then uh this banner is going to be getting a re-release the swimsuit character so swimsuit ringiku um Aruka and Mirla Rose is going to be coming back, although I do not remember if this banner did come back. Let me know in the comment section down below because I'm pretty sure this banner did come back before poll selection. I could be wrong. We don't know anything about the fillers. This was not added in the game, so we'll just have to wait and see. And then there's this background, which we don't know what it's about, but I'm assuming... I'm assuming this is going to be for when we get the next set of login rewards for when we get you know mid-month revealed we'll see we'll see this is going to be dropping uh, so uh yeah the contents are going to be a, a four star renji five soul tickets so uh yeah and now here is the thing i haven't seen that pretty much motivated me to make the video the machine society resurrections so yeah these three characters are going to be getting resurrected what are they picking up? Well, we're about to find out. So, Ruka, she is going to be the very first ever Link Slot Potion character that gets a resurrection, and she was a Nat character. I'm not expecting anything too crazy. If she does pick up Guard Break, then that's going to be really solid. But already, what I'm seeing here is these are going to be the first batch of seasonal characters to get innate skills. So, already, they're going to be getting a better treatment than premium characters. And uh, let's see. So, uh, she picks up long reach of 20%, which is pretty good. That definitely helps increase the range with her normal attacks. So, yeah. And uh, she also picks up strong attack range of time of minus 10%. That's actually really good in her case. It does help out with getting the second strong attack back. And then we look at the rest of the skills. Uh, her bruiser just got upped by 10%, uh, so now it's 30%. Berserker maybe got increased, but it's kind of irrelevant because you're not running her as a hybrid character, so yeah. Sadly, she didn't really pick up much, but other than that, uh, if you guys want to use her, she'll be a bit better for autoing, but no guard break still kind of hurts, so like, nothing too crazy to take note of. So yeah, next character is going to be Machine Society Retsu. Okay. Wait, oh wait, this character already had guard break, so they basically uh, moved it from the uh, six star abilities and is now an innate ability. And oh wow, okay, yeah, I was like, bro, what? You're telling me this character picked up guard break? And then I remember, oh wait, she already had that. So uh, yeah, uh, the change into her skill set. Uh, she now has damage to frozen enemies of 20% and did pick up increased stat summon chance against hard attributes or reapers. 
that's actually pretty good for when IT actually does have a Soul Reaper. So you can actually make some use out of her, which is a pretty interesting. So uh, yeah, again, the guard break got moved from the six star abilities into the innate abilities. And this is what she picked up. Her Berserker got changed from 20% to 30%. Devastation pretty much remained the same. Frenzy, same thing, Havoc. She's a good character, don't get me wrong. Like, when she came out, she was a good character. The only throwaway was the SA1 since she had the same 18%, not 18%, what was it? The three-way split SA like Kisuke or Hime. So like, it ain't the greatest, but she did have the 960 and full screen. So yeah, I think that the resurrection is solid for this character. Bro, this is so disappointing. I just wish that Ryuka got guard break. And then we see Retsu that had it, but got moved as an innate ability. So <laughs> it is what it is. And then the last character is going to be Lolly. Uh, okay, let's see. Full stamina damage boost of 20% as the innate ability. That's very good. Damage to burning enemies 20% as the attainable soul traits. I'm trying to think, do we have a good hard character that can actually inflict burn, that can actually, you know, make this link quite useful? I'm trying to think, man. It's just Sun Sun that is going to be able to pretty much get away with using the link, but she herself does not have damage to burning enemies, so there's that. Hmm. Quite unfortunate. I think that she should have picked up a, you know... 20% strong attack damage when at full stam. I think it would have been a lot better or 16% full stam or 16% strong attack damage. Like for now, we don't have a good hard character that can inflict burn yet. But once we do get that with increased status omen chance against all uh, mind mobs, this link can actually be very good. But uh, yeah, besides that, uh, the Berserker went up from 20% to 30. No havoc, unfortunately. That is the really sucky thing, if you guys ask me. No havoc. Very unfortunate, honestly. Like, she definitely got the worst treatment out of the uh, Resurrections. Like, Ruka was made a bit better. Like, she did pick up the long reach, a bit more recharge. So that way she can pump out her strong attacks back faster and being able to guard break a bit more efficiently. Retsu definitely got a really good upgrade. And then this uh, character is just okay, but no havoc to make her really good. Not even increased status omen chance. Like her six star abilities were pretty much left unchanged as it is. And uh, she didn't pick up any new ability. Like it's good that these characters are getting in and abilities, but please increase the skill cap. Like I do not understand it. It's... It's a good step in the right direction, but good god. Anywho, I hope this does mean that for when we finally get to Koga, if they don't push him back again, because I'm getting really tired of seeing his ass being delayed, he does pick up an innate ability and does become pretty strong as a resurrection. But only time will tell until then. And hopefully, this end of month, before it comes out, we do get the resurrections for either Camp Fair on Road, or Koga Gienrei Byakuya, because come on, man, it's time. Those characters are way overdue. And plus, I want those Camphor on Resurrections to catch up so that way we can get to Tokinata and Halibel, bro. What are they doing? Uh, I, okay, it's in line with Valentine's Day, so it's cool that these characters are getting resurrected, but I'm just so tired of seeing those characters getting pushed back. I'm sorry, but like, Fierce Battle should not have gotten resurrected uh, last month for the end of month. Sorry, but no. Anywho, let me know what you guys think about the character's resurrection in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, if you guys think that they're good. I think Retsu is really good. Ruka is okay. And then Mashiro, uh, not Mashiro, excuse me. Lolly got definitely the worst treatment, unfortunately. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your boy, the Death Smasher, and I hope to see you guys all in the next one. So, have a wonderful day, lads. Peace out. Bye. Sound out. Ciao, ciao.